Hey, this is Holt Webb with the Vanishing America Project. I'm down in New Orleans, Louisiana, getting ready to document all the events going on with the oil spill. My original intent down here is to actually give you guys the real story of what's going on and not the filtered stories that the mainstream media is dishing out. It's what happened in this case. The other night I went to see a free screening of a new documentary called Fuel. It's about our dependence on oil and it also discusses alternative fuel options. Uh, they were handing out little flyers about a demonstration that was going on the next day. So naturally I attended the demonstration. I was thinking it was going to be a big deal. Unfortunately not a whole lot of people showed up for the actual demonstration itself. Jackson Square was full of a bunch of kids, but they were on a completely different field trip. So what is the demonstration all about? So my name is Josh DeKell, I'm the director of the movie Fuel. Why we're here in New Orleans today is to talk about a clean energy future. My state is an oil state. We have been for 150 years, and it's part of our way of life. It's time to look, however, at new solutions. Things like algae that can work in our existing refineries today, keep our people employed, but give us a future that has a clean air policy, a clean land policy, and a clean water policy, which is what we need to be able to hand our, ch our children a new future. The general idea was that John Quigley, an aerial photographer, would have images taken of people spelling out the words why and we can. And then Jason Mraz would come in and play a little bit of music. The demonstration would raise awareness. And we could move forward with helping eliminate this oil spill in the Gulf. You're going to ask the question why. But then, once we achieve that photograph, you're going to rise up. And you're going to take the oil off of it. You're going to clean it up. And in the green shirt you have underneath, we're all going to spell out we can. There's going to be a rising up happening here in New Orleans, and it starts today, it starts in about five minutes. And you'll know it's starting to happen when Jason starts to play. It's a new day dawning, Jason's going to bring it in. So they spell out the word why. They remove their trash bags to reveal their green shirts, then they head out into the street and stop traffic and spell out the words, we can. But even though the demonstration wasn't as successful as they were hoping it would be, I think it's a good sign of what's really happening down here. There is a lot of stuff going on, but a lot of people don't know what to do about it. Blame it on the weather, blame it on the lack of publicity, but there were hundreds of people that showed up for the movie screening. Unfortunately, only about 50 or 60 people showed up for the actual demonstration itself, and that says a lot about the lack of community involvement. Now, please don't misunderstand me. The communities definitely want this oil spill to be over with, but they don't know how to do it. Governments aren't letting them do anything. BP isn't letting them do anything. Volunteer organizations are being stifled around every corner. People just don't know what to do. And this demonstration was an effort to raise awareness so people would know what to do. But like most everything else out here, it didn't quite work the way they were hoping it would. So what's the answer? I don't know yet. I don't think anybody knows yet. But as promised, I will continue to dig and continue to keep you informed. So keep checking in with the Vanishing America Project as I post new videos, stories, images about what's really going on down here. If you'd like more information about the Vanishing America Project, go to www.vanishingamerica.net. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. The videos are posted at youtube.com slash holtweb. And if you'd like to support the Vanishing America Project, you can do so by visiting www.donatevanam.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.